So mine's dry, and because of the magic television, I use the hairdryer. But it, I was like a blob of hair, so it bled like, you know, you use a straw and you blow in the straw like that. But I kind of like that. So we're going to play again, clean off my brush, the bigger brush, and let's kind of mush it and see what happens. Even when it's dry, you can kind of just push it around. Oh, yeah. See, I'm kind of doing a circular motion. Now, you can pull, take back your paper towel, and you can go back and grab some more water. Kind of mush the yellow. Ooh. Because I was the pink was just really kind of bleeding, huh? Ooh, yeah. See, now it made a little purple. This is just another way to do it. You can do wet on wet bleeding, but this erase technique, it's kind of sweet. I love it. I'm just kind of moving the brush in a circular motion. You can go in and add some color too. I'm just going to add some of that light green. Ooh, grabbing more water. So if I didn't wait till it dried a little bit, what would happen is it's so many bleeding colors, it would just be a bleed, bleeding mess. I think I really like this section with the browns. Isn't that pretty? You get this one little purpley kind of section in here. And look, you could take that paint and kind of move it up and tip tap it and create more flowers this way. And the blue. I'm going to make some gray. These are quick. Do they take you any time at all? They're super pretty. If you want to go back in a little bit and add some of that yellow. Just get that bright yellow in there while it's still kind of damp. Uh, for my splatter friends, you know who you are. You can splatter some yellow too. I didn't do that in the other one, but this one I'm going to give it a go. Look at that magic. Super, super fast, super easy, playing with the paint, playing with the colors. So they coordinate because the colors are the same, right? Coordinate, coordinate. Paint. So if you wanted to do like a four card set for yourself, and you know maybe bring it to the printer and print out a bunch of cards and you can give them as gifts for friends so then you just you know when they dry you go put them on this cardstock you just either use a glue gun or double stick tape also the actually i don't have it with me but the best thing you could use is rubber cement rubber cement will smack down these suckers like nose tomorrow so what you do is you take your rubber cement put it on this side and put it on the side you're going to use also Put it down, they stay forever. They will not come out, okay? I don't have that with me, but this is what we use in college. So rubber cement, you can just do like the outline here, but make sure you put exactly where it's gonna go here. You don't want it showing on the outside. So I maybe pencil in where exactly it's gonna go and it will stay, trust me, it will stay. So isn't that pretty? Super simple, super easy, really quick, a lot of fun to make these really kind of abstract, atmospheric, floral cards. Change the colors. If you don't like the colors, it's all about play. It's all about having fun. Please don't stress out. <laughs> the name of the game is to just play, enjoy, take the stress out, experiment with brushes. I mean, we didn't use round brushes. We use flat wash brushes. Try them. Try moving them around. These are things you need to explore that make you grow as an artist. If you're doing the same type of brushes, the same type of colors, the same type of thing, you're not going to grow. Hands down, no. You have to keep experimenting. You have to keep trying different things. And if you're frustrated, leave it alone. Come back to it and then try it again. Go to something that you're really good at because that's not the way it's supposed to go. You're supposed to ease back into it. So if you're feeling up for it, you want to use some flat wash brushes, boom. And like get really creative, you know, go in with pen and ink. Do some, uh, you know, gold or whatever. Splatter a color. Have fun. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Get out of your brain. Don't get perfectionism, disease, <laughs> nobody's perfect. And uh, I just wanted to say that because I, I had a viewer who said a comment about this on my Instagram and I just wanted to tell her like, why, why are you stopping yourself because you don't know what to paint colors? Like don't, just paint anything, who cares? Paint one color. That, 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 that shouldn't stop you from creating at all. Just please don't do that because I think too many people have these voices in their head and it's not good. It's really not good because some idiot might have told you something when you were a kid or 
you see something that looks so great and you're like, oh, I can't do that. Well, of course you can't because you're not that person. You're you. <laughs> you're not going to be that person. So don't try and be, try to emulate that. You're not going to be that. So take care, guys. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.